Hello doll lovers, it's Ruby Red's World of Dolls and welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that all is well, fantastic, and fabulous your way. I am here with a Barbie review. This is the judge. Um, I have the um, darker skin tone here. I did a review of her not quite a year ago when they first re were released. And it was my intentions to get another, but for some reason, the price kind of went up. They sold out at Target online, and I could never find them in the Target store that I shop at. And my local Walmart never got the judge in stock. So I had to rely on Amazon.com to um, locate another, and guess what? You know how it goes. For some reason, the price went crazy when she did come back available, so I passed. But for some reason, last week, I was strolling through Amazon, and there she was, available for purchase, $12.99, which is what I paid for the original, pay originally for um, this one here. So they were regular price again. So I went ahead and I ordered her... Um, they have these dolls, this doll, in four different skin tones. You have the African-American version. People are calling this version here the Hispanic version. Then you have the Asian one, and then you have the original Barbie um, one. So they come in four different um, skin tones. And I would like to get them all because for some reason, you know, this career is very popular. And like I said, I was planning to get them all, but I was hoping I was going to be able to get them at, you know, a uh, clearance price. You guys watch my channel, you know, I'm all about the bargains, but hasn't happened yet, but maybe it will. So it's like sometimes she comes available for $12.99 when I checked the last time. I think she had gone back up to $24.99. I don't quite understand the pricing on Amazon sometimes. I have learned that when you want it, if you can get afford it, you better go on and get it because the price can change immediately. But I really like these dolls. Um, I think that they are um, a pretty awesome career for Barbie to, for Mattel to um, give us. Um, it says here that it has the 2019 Career of the Year. You know, I'm not surprised about that. And then here on her packaging, I like the artwork there. I like how the actual artwork is a representation of the actual doll that's in the packaging. And then here on the back of the box, we have another picture of the actual doll. And she is quite lovely. And I like, again, how her picture on the packaging looks like the doll in the box. You also have a picture here of the doll with her without her robe, you know. And I really like that dress. I really do. And you guys will get to see that once um, I unbox her. Judge, when a girl plays with Barbie, she imagines everything she can become. Judges are experts in the legal system. They make important decisions in the courtroom and protect the rights of others. They listen to witnesses, review evidence, and make rulings on legal cases. Some rulings can even have a broad impact on society and our everyday lives. Do you like to be just and truthful you can be a judge so we're going to unbox her and look at her up close and in detail she's free from her packaging and ready to be looked at and reviewed so the items that she comes with just like the other she comes with her gallo and her mallet and you know they're pretty detailed little items um, it, to me, it looks like an actual one. I mean, it's very detailed. It's made of plastic. It has the little hook there on the side for you to place it on her hand. And then here is the mallet. You've got the Barbie logo there on the stamp. And again, hollow at, in the inside. So those are the accessories that she comes with. So let's remove her from this stand. 
and look at her up close. Now, let me go ahead and tell you guys, her hair is jailed down. I mean, it is so much jail on her hair. It looks like she's wearing a helmet. But, you know, that's an easy fix. You know, you can mist it with water and brush it out. Or you can wash it out. It's whatever your um, preference is. But I will go ahead and warn you that her hair is as jailed as it looks. I mean, it is stiff as a board. So I guess they do that to keep it in the style so that it can hold the style. But there is no way. I mean, look at how stiff it is. It's very stiff, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you that. You know, I don't know if all of them come that way, but again, when you have to order online and you're not able to pick it up in person, you know, I don't know. So I can't tell you if all of them have that, but I'm pretty sure they do, and some probably have more than others, like mine here. But look at her face sculpt. She is absolutely stunning. I really like the face sculpt. I like the smile that they gave her. She has brown eyes. And these dolls aren't wearing any makeup. I don't see, I don't even see any um, rouge or anything on the cheeks. Um, they look very professional and distinguished. So that's her face and her hair. So then she's wearing um, her robe here, of course, and then you have the collar here that is removable, and it kind of feels, um, I don't know what fabric or material the collar is made of, but the collar is um, removable. It velcros here in the back around the neck. The robe is made out of this like gabardine stretchy material, um, and again, the quality is okay. Um, it opens and closes here in the front. I didn't cut all the threads um, loose, and I need to go ahead and do that because I definitely want to show you guys what um, her dress and everything looks like underneath um, her robe. But again, it looks like an actual robe. I mean, I don't know how you could mess that up, right? I mean, so that's pretty simple and, you know, to the point. So let's go ahead and see... I think I left a thread now. Let me find my scissors. But they've got the collar fastened there, of course, with a sticky tie. Yes, I'm just really um, still had shock in shock with that um, hair, but with all that gel. But here is her lace collar. This is what it looks like. Again, it velcros um, around the neck. And then let me see if I got any more threads I need to cut here so that I can remove her robe. All right, so I think that was the last thread. All right, so then the, the robe just velcros here in the front. Easy open. And we're going to just remove it so that we can check her um, her dress out underneath. And again, here it is. And again, I like the dress. All the dolls are wearing the same dress. It would have been nice if they had given us a different color dress for each um, skin tone, but we got the same dress. Um, so, and I'm pretty sure the other two are the same way. But I like the dress. It's just a straight, basic dress um, with, I want to say those are like, it's like a floral print on it. There's no Velcro anywhere. It's a pullover pull down easy on easy off dress and this is how it's made in the back I like the scoop neck there on the back and then she's wearing a pair of black high heel shoes again basic but very nice and I really like it I really like this doll I was really excited that I was able to get her um uh, able to locate her because she was definitely um, one that I wanted and if I don't get the other two it's fine because this one here was definitely my favorite and she was as well and I'm just glad to have them so I have two judges in my um, Barbie collection in Ruby Red's World of Dolls so if you are interested in these um, this judge the judge Barbie judge 
keep checking Amazon.com. I have found it takes a lot of time and you got to be patient. But sometimes you can run across items that you weren't able to get or they sold out. Because Target seems like they get a certain number of them. And once they're gone, they're gone. You know, a lot of the dolls, especially with the Barbies, once they don't have them anymore online, you don't usually get them. So... The fact that Amazon does have them and they can give them to us for the actual retail price is really, really good. So if you're looking for, just keep checking Amazon. They are available, but last time I checked, the price had went back up to $24.99. And $24.99 is a lot to pay for these dolls. I think the $12.99 price point is kind of steep for what you get, but it's fair. <laughs> it's fair. I would love to hear you guys' opinion on the ju on the judge. Do you have her? Do you have any of them? Maybe some of you out there have the whole set of, you know, the whole set, which is four of them. But I would love to hear from you guys. You know, I always love to hear y'all's feedback. I hope that everybody is staying safe, but at the same time, enjoying their hobby, enjoying their family, enjoying whatever it is that is getting you through this time. Guys, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to check me out on Instagram on Ruby Red's World of Dolls there. Continue being awesome, fantastic, and fabulous. And I will see you awesome people in my next review.